Hi, Bob the Canadian here. Sometimes when you're having an English conversation, people want to talk about their pets. Or maybe you want to talk about yours. In this video, I'll help you learn some English words and phrases that will help you talk about two of the most common pets, cats and dogs. I think a cat just meowed as I said cats and dogs. Hey, welcome to this video. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button below. And if at some point during this video, you could leave a comment or a thumbs up, that would be awesome. So pets, cats and dogs, which one do you want to talk about first? In English, we often say, are you a cat lover or a dog lover? Are you a cat person or a dog person? This is how we describe the difference between people who love cats and people who love dogs. Myself, I have to say, I'm not sure which I am. In some ways, I like cats because they're quiet. They kind of sit by themselves and they're just in general a calm animal. But I also like the excitement of a dog. We have a dog, his name is Oscar. I'll try to find a picture of him to put in this video. Uh, and Oscar's just a great farm dog. He's a dog who lives mostly outside, but he is allowed in the front entrance of our home. So in some ways, he's also a house dog. But let's talk about some things about dogs. Dogs eat dog food that they eat out of a dog bowl. When dogs make sounds, we say that they either bark or growl. Uh, I'm going to bark here to, to make the sound. Barking sounds like ruff, ruff. Uh, and growling is grrr. A couple of interesting things about dogs. We call them man's best friend in English. It's a phrase that we use because dogs have been with people for so long that they are man's best friend. Another interesting fact, the feet of a dog are called paws. A baby dog is called a puppy. And there's a couple of things you can do with a dog. You can take your dog for a walk. When you take a dog for a walk, you use what we call in English a leash. You have your dog on a leash. And another thing about dogs is you can pet your dog. Uh, dogs like to have their ears scratched. So you can pet your dog. You can scratch your dog's ears. Uh, a lot of times a dog will have a dog mat that they lay on when they're in the house. You can also teach your dog to do tricks. You may teach your dog to sit. You may teach your dog to roll over. Or you may teach your dog to beg. And I'll try to find a picture of this to put up here. Uh, when a dog begs, usually you give your dog a dog treat, which is a small little piece of dog food. Dogs can go to school. In English, we call that obedience school. When your dog's sick, you take your dog to the vet or the veterinarian. When I was younger, we would take our dog to a vet or veterinarian. Vet is the short form. Also, when you go on vacation, you may actually take your dog to a kennel and you may board your dog at a kennel, which means you bring your dog to a place where they will take care of your dog while you are on vacation. So that's a little bit about dogs. Let's talk about cats. Cats are an entirely different animal. Literally, uh, cats do not walk using a leash. I know some people do, but cats generally don't like leashes. A baby cat is called a kitten. When you have a cat and it lives in your house, you usually will have a litter box where they can go to the bathroom and you will probably have cat toys or a scratching post for them to scratch their nails on. Um, we also say that cats have paws, just like dogs. So a cat's feet are called paws. The two sounds a cat makes are they can meow. And there was actually a cat up here with me earlier that said meow. Uh, and when you pet a cat, they can purr. Um, it's a hard sound to make. I'll try to make it, but. So a cat makes a purring sound. You can hear a cat purr when you pet them and when they're happy. A cat eats cat food. That's the food that you would feed to a cat. When a cat gets sick, just like a dog, you would bring the cat to a vet or veterinarian. That's the longer form of the word. But what do you do to play with cats? You can't play fetch with a cat. You can't teach a cat to roll over. You can sit with a cat. 
Uh, cats are very, very loving animals to their owners. Uh, and sometimes it's just enjoyable to sit with a cat beside you and pet the cat while the cat purrs. It's a very calming feeling for human beings. Sometimes a cat will rub up against your leg when they want attention, especially if it's your cat and they love you. They'll rub up against your leg to say, hey, pet me, hey, sit with me. Well, that's a few words and phrases to help you have great English conversations when talking about cats or dogs. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please click the red subscribe button below. Leave a comment, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and have a great day.